Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In this video, we're going to be discussing the three unforgivable curses and their relationship to Severus Snape's spell, Sectum Sempra. Didn't Sectum Sempra nearly kill Malfoy in The Half-Blood Prince? And wasn't it Sectum Sempra that caused George Weasley to lose an ear? It's definitely quite a sinister spell. But is it unforgivable? Before we get started, let's have a brief look at what the three unforgivable curses are. A quote from Alistair Moody in Chapter 14 of The Goblet of Fire reads as follows. Now, those three curses, Avada Kedavra, Imperius, and Cruciatus, are known as the unforgivable curses. The use of any one of them on a fellow human being is enough to earn a life sentence in Azkaban. That's what you're up against. That's what I've got to teach you to fight. You need preparing. You need arming. But most of all, you need to practice constant, never-ceasing vigilance. This quote, of course, is actually by Barty Crouch Jr. The unforgivable curses are widely considered to be three of the most powerful and sinister spells known to the wizarding world. They are the tools of the dark arts, and generally only used by the darkest and most sadistic witches and wizards. The Imperious Curse, or Imperio, when cast on a victim, forces them to perform the unquestioned bidding of the caster. The Cruciatus Curse, or Crucio, when cast on a victim, inflicts excruciating pain, pain so excruciating that it is considered to be torturous. The third unforgivable curse is Avada Kedavra, or the Killing Curse, which when cast on a victim does just that, it kills them. So all of these spells seem pretty awful, that's fair to say. But Sectum Sempra isn't such a wonderful spell itself. We first see Sectum Sempra in the films when Harry uses it on Malfoy in The Half-Blood Prince. Sectum Sempra is a vicious dark curse that acts like an invisible sword, causing lacerations, hemorrhaging, and cuts upon its target. Often after being struck, the target will lay there motionless as they lose blood. It is somewhat of a specialty of Snape's, and is featured in his Half-Blood Prince copy of Advanced Potion Making. The three unforgivable curses are widely considered to be unforgivable because of their sadistic nature, but what else makes them unforgivable? First of all, legislation plays a part in their classification. These spells have been around for a very, very long time, and they weren't classified as unforgivable and illegal by the Ministry of Magic until the year 1717. What prompted the Ministry to eventually classify them as unforgivable is unknown, though there must have been some sort of catalyst. Sectum Sempra was independently created by Snape, and it wasn't even created until the year 1977, 260 years after the original unforgivable curses were classified as unforgivable. The original unforgivable curses were thought to have been created by dark wizards sometime between the 5th and 15th century, so they had a lot of time to build up the reputation that they had. Barely anyone even knew about Snape's spell, so it's highly improbable that it would be noticed by the Ministry and then grouped with the standing unforgivable curses. One other thing that sets the spell apart is intent. There is no grey area with unforgivable curses. The Imperious Curse controls, the Killing Curse kills, and the Cruciatus Curse tortures. In order to successfully cast one of the unforgivable curses, you need to understand it properly, and you need to want to cast it. You have to want to kill, torture, or control this person. In the Order of the Phoenix, Harry attempts to use Crucio on Bellatrix, but is unsuccessful. She then says to Harry, Never used an unforgivable curse before, have you, boy? She yelled. She had abandoned her baby voice now. You need to mean them, Potter. You need to really want to cause pain, to enjoy it. Righteous anger won't hurt me for long. I'll show you how it's done, shall I? I'll give you a lesson. Sectum Sempra is very different. It doesn't require this same level of intent or deep understanding. When Harry first reads about Sectum Sempra in Snape's copy of Advanced Potion Making, he is able to fully cast Sectum Sempra almost immediately, and in a panic without understanding any of its effects to boot. The amount of damage that Sectum Sempra causes is also not particularly straightforward, and I would imagine that the cuts and lacerations or damage that it causes overall varies to a degree. This is very much unlike the unforgivable curses that are very black and white in terms of their efficacy. It's all quite ambiguous. Another reason for its not being unforgivable is that it has a counterspell. The treatment for Sectum Sempra is Volnera Senentor, which was also invented by Snape. Though the spell is highly dangerous and potentially lethal, it's just not unforgivable. And that's it for this video. If you guys enjoy the content, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, 
You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs>